Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to talk about a vanilla fragrance. Uh, I remember that when I first started my fragrance journey, I, you know, I saw vanilla this, vanilla that, and I was like, what's so interesting about vanilla? Like, it's just, you know, kind of this food smell, food taste, like, I just didn't get it. But then I, as I started to experience with more fragrances, I realized that I actually really, really enjoy the creamy, soft, warm vanilla scent, the way it can be combined with a lot of other notes. Uh, it's probably one of the most used uh, fragrance note in uh, perfumery. And uh, yes, I kind of fell in love with uh, vanilla. So I actually have a, a Juliet Hezagan fragrance. Uh, Juliet Hezagan is this uh, niche fragrance that has kind of affordable uh, fragrances. Um, so this is Vanilla Vibes by Juliette as a gun. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it's, yeah, it says it's unisex. Um, this is my first Juliette as a gun fragrance that I, or Juliette as a gun fragrance that I, that I tried. Uh, I will definitely like to get more into this house because they always have something so like uh, interesting and exciting about the names of their fragrances like I know that they have a fragrance that's called mmm like just mmm that's the name of the fragrance also they have like not a perfume and like this kind of quirky names that kind of makes you think what that thing smells like you know uh, and I also, also I love the name of the brand like Juliet has a gun I don't know why it just sounds so good to me like some people said that it sounds stupid but I absolutely love this name like Juliet has a gun it's I don't know, <laughs> for me it's just super intriguing. So yeah, uh, let me just spray it here. Oh. I already tested it, but now it came out like it was just opened, which is weird because I already opened it. <sighs> yes. In the opening, it has kind of a almondy, uh, play doughy vibe to it. But as it dries down, I actually, when I first tested it, I felt like this is, I tried kind of a few, like even just simple vanilla scents, like almost like, you know, just vanilla, like nothing complex, just like vanilla fragrances. And they always smelled so simple to me, like they were just kind of straight up vanilla and I didn't really enjoy them because they were so simple. But this one, this is simple too, but something about it... I don't know, it's just so comforting and... It kind of resembles uh, Dior Hypnotic Poison, the EDT. Um, it just feels more play doh -y, like... It kind of feels like a warm vanilla uh what is it called like cookie dough cookie dough you know before it's uh, cooked or baked and i don't know it's just really it's hard to explain because it's basically it smells like a synthetic almond vanilla and um, <clears throat> it has a certain warmth to it It's very attractive and almost like edible in a sense, but not like your usual vanilla. It's hard to explain. It it's almost smells like a, a raw cookie dough and uh, that might sound off-putting, but somehow it's really nice. Um, I have to say I do prefer the Dior Hypnotic Poison that's more, a little bit more deep, more well rounded and sophisticated than Juliet has again vanilla vibes, but this is also very nice. Like, I can imagine people using this to layer with their fragrances. Uh, and it's not super sweet, that's what I like about it. It's not sweet vanilla, it's. It's almost like a. I 
I mean, yeah, again, this image comes to my mind. Like, uh, your mother is uh, baking some kind of cake or cookie and she is uh, uh, flattening, you know, like using that thing to kind of flat out the cookie dough and she's pouring, she's pouring some uh, flour, you know, so it's not sticking to the surface and stuff like that. Like that smell, almost like a almost like a gingerbread but it's not spicy it's just the gingerbread though I don't know it's hard to explain uh, I also didn't uh, have a chance to wear it full day but um, I would I would I mean I expect a performance to be not you know beast mode because it's a kind of a simple, not, not simple, but it's still just like a vanilla fragrance. Like it's not gonna last you all day and stuff. Uh, it also doesn't have a huge scent development. Like it's just, it is what it is. It's a, it's a nice vanilla fragrance. Like I really enjoy this. I truly enjoy this. Would I purchase the full bottle? Probably no, because uh, I just know I wouldn't reach for it too often, so I don't need, you know, a huge uh, bottle of this fragrance, but uh, I'm super happy to have this one. I will definitely pull this out in the cold weather when I just scrape something soft and comforting and... Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I do have to say that uh, I actually have uh, a DR Hypnotic Poison the EDT rollerball, uh, one of my friends actually surprised me with it because <clears throat> it's like, a, I think I mentioned it in an earlier video, I'm gonna do a full review on this, that one too. Uh, and I love that fragrance, like I love wearing it, it's it's just, it's, it's, it's amazing, I love Hypnotic Poison EDT. I know it's a premium marketed fragrance, but you know what, I'm gonna do a separate video and I'm gonna talk about it. It's just stunning, really. So. I prefer that one, but it's still nice, and uh, I mean, it's definitely unisex, it's just... It's just vanilla, but done in a kind of cakey, roll, cookie dough way, but without being too sweet, so yeah, I think I'm just repeating myself at this point, which means I have to stop talking. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you have tried any of the Juliet Hesagan Juliet Juliet Juliet. I'm not sure. Juliet Hesagan fragrances, um, because I'm interested. I'm interested to try more. And um, yes, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Check my other reviews. Check my uh, playlists. Check my old videos. Even though, I mean, I would say that I was. I used to be off court on camera but I, I think I'm still still am so there is not a huge difference actually between my old videos although I tend to kind of cringe when I watch them but at the same time I know that I'm still not that huge of a camera personality but I'm working on it and we are all working towards being better in everything we do so that's it thank you so much for watching and have a nice day see you next time